All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, we were here two years ago, so some of you probably know us now, but uh, I know there are people here who do not know us. We are here, if you look, there is a young lady with a crown on her head and a sash across her. She is uh, from Ireland. She came all the way from Europe to uh, Nigeria for a charity trip. In collaboration with uh, Sergio Spogun Foundation, I know Sergio Spogun, his face is a uh, household uh, face by now. We started this uh, program last year, uh, two years ago. We had promised that we would come here last year we couldn't do it. So we're here now. And I just want to say that I listened to my brothers and sisters who had some challenges. And well, we always knew right from the day, the very first time we came here, that this is a house that should be recognized. It's a house that uh, Every government functionary should, from a good state, should recognize, should do whatever they can to help or to be of help, to put hope and smile on people's faces here, which is the very reason why we are here. <laughs> All right. Um, first and foremost, let me introduce uh, Mr. Julian Island. How are you, Oi? Her name is Oyin Queen, Oyin Damola Anima Sharon. She came from Ireland for the purpose of uh, collaborating with Barista Sergio Sogun to put hope and smiles on people's faces. Do I hear a round of applause for Oyin Damola? Oyin Damola, it's very important that you are here. Because I know when you people, you left Nigeria when you were eight. And what you remember now is just tiny bits of what you used to have. We know because you left as a child. And some of what you hear, you probably, when you are abroad, you probably don't think about it. You probably don't know that people are having challenges. People are suffering. And even the little things that you people don't think is important, that is important to people here. For your same graduates and all fighting different kind of challenges, they want to be happy. They want to have hopes. They want to live a good life. And you are here, and that's one of the reasons why we said first and foremost that if you are Mr. Nigerian Island in diaspora, it is very important that you visit your home and know what exactly the situation, so that when you wear that crown. You start imagining and you know that it is not always about everything gold, everything silver. There are people who are staying naked. So, from what you have seen, what do you think? How do you now look at your coming to Nigeria? I'll give you the time to talk. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Oyin Wida Malani Mashan said. It's, it's such an honor to be here today and uh, first and foremost I'm going to thank the Sergio Scoble Foundation, the Parent Foundation and the Miss Nigeria Organization for making all this possible. Okay, it is hearing all your stories and your hearing you and the beautiful song that the children sang. I'm so happy to be here today. And as you said, I didn't leave here when I was eight. I'm 19 now, so that was 11 years ago. So I, did, I don't really know how Nigeria is. But my parents always try to educate them into that because they spent their whole lives here. The reason we are here today is because we want to show the like, like people in the Nigerian diaspora, specifically in Ireland, actually care about the people, underprivileged people who live here today. I want to, we want to show them that we remember you and that we do care. And I'm so, so happy 